Hey, what is going on you guys? Welcome back to another video and today I am actually coming at you guys in Clash Royale because I've got some brand new really cool information regarding uh, the brand new huge Clash Royale update which is going to involve a brand new arena and a possible new game mode as well. Uh, could it be linked to the Clan Wars and that huge that like massive update that's supposed to revive Clash Royale? Um, that I am unsure of and you guys could be the judges of that. So I'll just go ahead and share all of that with you guys and you guys can decide for yourselves what you think is what. Um, but anyways, if you guys want to see more Clash Royale videos, make sure you drop a like and I will keep you guys up to date with all of these brand new Clash Royale updates and sneak peeks that are going to be coming out for the massive Clash Royale update. And I'll also keep you guys up to date with all the Clash of Clans news as well. But anyways, if you guys don't already know what uh, data mining is, basically they went into the game in a bit of a different way, uh, where they went into the actual coding of the game and they found, came out with all these little code names and sort of a... Uh, just little little bits and pieces of the code that can possibly hint towards stuff. Usually what it is, is it just tells us like the names of what they are adding into the game. And usually you won't actually recognize some of the stuff uh, because it actually hasn't been like added fully into the game yet. It's sort of like in a sleeper mode where it's not actually active within the current game. Uh, for example, here it says King of the Hill Battle and then also Atlantis Arena. We'll talk a little bit more about that. But first, I just wanted to mention that I did first see this on Havoc Gaming's channel. So huge shout out to him. Um... I'm sure a lot of you guys already watch him, but I wanted to go ahead and give my own two cents on all, all of this because I do have a bit of different thoughts uh, than he did, and I wanted to share that with you guys. But anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at the map first. So if we take a look at the coding, the name of the map is actually Atlantis Arena, and the first thing that comes to mind when I think of Atlantis is obviously underwater, as it is known as the Sunken City, uh, and that is really cool because there actually are no maps similar to this uh, as of right now in the Clash Royale Arena. Um, and not only is it going to be like different aesthetics in the arena where like say the jungle it has all the leaves and forest or whatever you want to call it um, And then the I forget what it's called. There's the ice arena um, And that one's obviously covered in ice and snow and all of that So I think this one's gonna have a much more like different aesthetics look to it But that is not the only big thing. It's actually gonna have a whole different um, Sort of layout to it uh, compared to the regular map. So similar to the difference between the regular Clash Royale map we have uh, where it's just two towers and then your king tower and then like sim comparing that to the touchdown mode where there are no towers It's kind of like that. It's a whole different layout where troops are gonna act and behave completely differently um, And then if we go ahead and take a look at this little uh, layout of the map um, The one on the left is the current Clash Royale arena where you can see in the middle that there is the bridge uh, The outside two lanes uh, you have those where the, all those troops will path towards those and then the red circle is the king's towers and then in the back, um, I'm honestly not really sure what that is. I think that's like empty space where you can actually still play your troops and all of that. Uh, but anyways, if you go ahead and take a look at the right side, which is the new Atlantis arena, uh, you can see that, the, first of all, the bridge is completely gone, likely because this is underwater or something like that. And then also the path is pretty much gone or it's completely moved to the side there. There's a whole different layout, um, as you guys can probably tell. And apparently, according to the uh, data mining, uh, troops will follow the same sort of... Uh, same sort of logic as um, in the touchdown mode. So as you know, in Clash Royale, they always, or sorry, in the regular arena, what they usually do is the troops will uh, kind of gravitate towards those certain paths, um, basically leading up each bridge. But in touchdown mode, they kind of just run wherever and usually just straight down a line. And that's what the Atlantis arena is going to be like. The troops are just going to go straight ahead and behave differently uh, than usual. Uh, so that'll be really interesting to see what kind of game mode comes with this. Um, maybe it's similar to the... Maybe it'll be connected to the whole Clan Wars thing, since the only leak we have received with the Clash Royale uh, huge update so far is a single emoji, and that is just this one emoji of a boat. And I guess, honestly, the boat emoji goes really, really well with this new arena, so po these, could, these two could possibly be very well connected together. Um, how exactly, I'm not too sure. The boat could honestly just be like a button that you click on to, to take you to this whole new arena. Similar to in Clash of Clans where you click on the Night Village boat and then that takes you to the Night Base. Um, I actually have a full on concept idea of a much more extravagant idea on this. Um, but it's completely separate from all of this data mining so I'll save that for another video. Um, but anyways, the boat and Atlantis could be very well connected. The next thing is the brand new game mode and that is called King of the Hill. Personally, I think this is very self-explanatory. Uh, King of the Hill is usually where if you win, you keep playing, um, and I think it'll be like a brand new game mode similar to like tournaments or the challenges. It'll be like one of those ones where you can pay 10 or 100 gems or however much it costs. Um, and then basically you'll do a battle, and if you win, you keep playing, if you lose, you are out, so it's sort of like sudden death. Um, and then, uh, sort of like that basically, so if you win, you stay on top. 
um, and then everyone else will have to battle against you to try and take you down. This could just be a game mode, like I said, similar to the challenges or the tournaments, or it could be a much bigger game mode where it's kind of like the Clan Wars, uh, and it has like much more stuff added into it to make it like into a really massive game mode that could really turn like Clan Wars in Clash Royale into like the next big thing. Uh, but that is just my thoughts on that. Um, and very, these two could also very well be connected, King of the Hill and the Atlantis Arena. It could all be one new game mode together. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see for that one, honestly. And then I also went back and checked out some really cool water concepts of like what Atlantis could possibly look like. Uh, these two were my favorite because they actually looked pretty cool. Uh, one was done by Bob Vobson and Sardar YouTube, and then the other one I'm not too sure who it was actually done by. Um, but forget the brand new troops in the image, uh, it's more so the arena that is important. Uh, the one on the very left looks sort of, or sorry, the one I'm showing on screen right now looks really similar to what the uh, dotted uh, path from the data mining looked like, as as the truth will only go straight, and then there are the two paths on the right and left. Uh, so there is that one, and then I'll also go ahead and flash up on screen the other one. This one is a, like fully submerged in water, sort of similar idea where they just run straight ahead, um, except it, the arena is all in water. So anyways, those are pretty cool. Let me know what you guys think of this brand new update as well. And like I said, drop a like if you want to see more Clash Royale videos on the whole new update uh, news, uh, maybe some Clash Royale stories. Um, anything you guys want to see, just let me know down in the comments below and I will be going through each and every one of them and doing my very best to respond to all of them as well. Also, I'm going to start trying to add in some of your guys' comments as shoutouts in my future videos. So if you guys want to see that, uh, just comment something down below and if I like what you said, I don't know, makes me laugh or... Uh, just if it's really nice or something like that, I'll go ahead and throw that in a future video. Usually I'll end up hearting the comments so you guys will know if it might be coming up in a future video so you can keep a look out for that. But anyways, I will do my best to make some more videos more frequently for you guys as I've been really busy with school and applying for universities and stuff. Uh, but like I said, I will do my best to make more frequent videos. And anyways, I will see you guys hopefully very soon. Peace out.